At present the shortage of semiconductor talents is spreading all over the world especially in the past two years the large-scale construction of wafer fabs in developed regions such as Europe, America and Japan has greatly increased the demand for engineers and it is difficult to find a good solution in a short time in the next few years the global competition for semiconductor talents may intensify especially between China and the United States which will be the main battlefield to this end. The average salary increase of IC talent in China is more than 50% and the soaring salary has also prompted Chinese talents working overseas to return to China in the early years many Chinese graduates who studied IC related majors moved to Singapore or Malaysia for higher salaries but in the past few years due to the booming semiconductor industry in mainland China and a large number of engineers have decided to return to China for better career development opportunities so as for China and the U.S. who can take the lead in solving the talent crisis what are their advantages and disadvantages. Before we start today's video please subscribe to our channel which is the encouragement that we can create more videos ok let's move on to today's topic not only mainland China but also Taiwan semiconductor talent problem has become more prominent in recent years after entering 2022 the situation further deteriorates data shows that in the first quarter the demand for semiconductor talents averaged. 35,000 per month with an annual increase of nearly 40% the shortage of supply has become more prominent on average each job seeker who wants to enter the semiconductor industry can be allocated 3.4 job opportunities in order to recruit suitable employee semiconductor related companies in addition to cultivating technical and vocational schools other than top universities have also extended their tentacles to Southeast Asia to develop the potential of female engineers and even Buying talents from high school and some even invite liberal arts students in addition the U.S. Semiconductor talent problem is even more serious the United States was initially a gathering place for semiconductor talents especially the salary level which is the highest in the world however with the relocation of U.S. manufacturing semiconductor talents are more concentrated in IC design EDA tools and semiconductor equipment due to the reduction in the number of wafer fabs the global share. Of IC manufacturing has also shrunk to 12% as a result the number of IC manufacturing talent. In the U.S. is limited as the United States has emphasized the return of IC manufacturing in the past two years Intel Micron TSMC Samsung and other manufacturers have built large-scale fabs in the United States which further highlights the shortage of IC manufacturing talents at present there are about 190,000 workers engaged in IC manufacturing in the United States which is not only rare but also has an aging problem 40 of workers are over 50 years old the talent gap in the semiconductor manufacturing industry in the united states is 70,000 to 90,000 and the proportion is as high as 50 percent semiconductor manufacturing is a high-tech talent intensive industry the cultivation of high-tech talent can basically only rely on universities and enterprises themselves in addition the large number of recruitment needs of major way for industry chain companies will explode in a short period of time and the talent problem will be more severe there is an advanced process way for fab under construction in the north and south of Phoenix Arizona the north is TSMC's 12 billion dollars 5 nanometers factory and the south is the reconstruction of Intel's 20 billion old fab the two semiconductor giants have launched a war for talent with Intel gaining the upper hand by virtue of its local advantage TSMC also released the recruitment progress of the Arizona plant on LinkedIn the article stated that it had recruited 250 employees a year ago and more than 500 employees have been trained in Taiwan and said that it can't wait to bring these training employees and their families back to Phoenix later this year. 
In the past few years mainland China has been the largest buyer of global semiconductor talent whether it is from the United States or Taiwan several times the high salary attracts a large number of semiconductor talents to mainland China however with the large-scale construction of fabs in the United States in the past two years the shortage of IC manufacturing talents there is serious which makes the U.S. Government and the business community begin to make great efforts to collect relevant talent on a global scale at the beginning of 2022 statistics from the American think tank set showed that to meet the needs of American IC manufacturing talents it is recommended that the United States formulate policies to attract talents from Taiwan and South Korea set estimates that the U.S. semiconductor industry has a large overseas talent gap totaling more than 3,500. People ideally most of these 3,500 people will be employees of TSMC and Samsung in U.S. Fabs a December 2021 report by the Harvard Kennedy School Belfer Center lays out the strengths and weaknesses of China and the United States in developing and attracting talent in high-tech industries including semiconductors according to the report China has significant advantages in education cultivating four times as many STEM science technology engineering and mathematics undergraduate and master students each year as the United States and twice as Many doctoral students as the United States by contrast the number of U.S. Born students enrolled in artificial intelligence doctoral programs has not increased since 1990. To close the gap with China the United States should double its spending on domestic STEM education and employment programs especially in the case of a shortage of local semiconductor talent such policies and investments are more valuable the report also talks about skilled immigration and believes that less than 100 citizens are naturalized every year in mainland China while nearly 1 million citizens are naturalized every year in the United States which is not conducive to the improvement of mainland China's ability to introduce talents especially in the semiconductor field there is a talent gap of 300,000 people and the local supply is seriously insufficient so people can only be recruited from countries or regions outside the mainland relatively speaking U.S. immigration policies are more conducive to attracting talent the report argues that since 2000 half of U.S. unicorns have been founded or co-founded by immigrants and there are 15 times as many immigrant inventors in the U.S. As U.S. inventors living abroad the report argues that the U.S. should issue an additional 250,000 green cards a year whose holders are entitled to permanent residency and unrestricted employment currently the U.S. government is lagging behind because it has set a lot of restrictions that make the number of people who can get green card become less which is not good for attracting. Scientists and engineers from India and China it is recommended to lift the restrictions and create new ones for experts in cutting-edge technologies including semiconductors green card category all in all mainland China Taiwan and the United States have increasingly urgent needs for semiconductor talents these three regions are typical representatives but they are not limited to these regions South Korea Japan and even Europe are also facing similar problems however the total amount of global semiconductor talent is Limited in the face of so many IC design companies and fabs that have emerged in a short period of time the supply of talent has become increasingly limited in the same sentence in the future the global competition for semiconductor talents may intensify especially between China and the United States which will be the main battlefield okay that's all for today please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas please keep following our channel and like our video see you